Good morning, everybody. Low Wolf Rick here on this Monday morning, it's approximately about 8 a.m., April 24th, 2023. So we'll take a look around here northbound on the Las Vegas Strip. Currently, it's about 70 degrees here in Las Vegas. Beautiful morning here. So let's get up to 89 today. So the temperature is going to get up there a little bit. So we start to uh, get close to that 90 degree mark uh, every now and then for right now. Hope you all had a great weekend. It was a very busy weekend here in Las Vegas. Uh, hotel rooms, a lot of people here. And and uh, it was a busy time. I imagine all the, the corporate Vegas is very happy with this weekend. Take a look around here. Let's take a look southbound here. See if anything's going on down there. All right, man, we're going to come over here. We're going to take a walk here. We'll go a little bit northbound, see if anything's going on. See if anybody's out and about here today. Not sure what that guy down there shouting about, but uh, he seems to be on a mission there heading into uh, the MGM Grand here. The escalators are shut down, so I think I'm going to take the elevator today. Stifler! There's a guy right there who's in a shoddy boot. I saw an interesting thing. It's like, you know, we had a big fight here in Las Vegas. Uh, Davis versus uh, Garcia. The fight was won by Davis. Knocked him out in the seventh round. Uh, supposed he hit him with a kidney punch, he deliver whatever, he couldn't catch his breath. So he went down. Uh, Garcia did for a 10 count. And uh, Davis won the fight. But the interesting thing was, it's like, I guess... Uh, uh, last night or this morning, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, who was like, uh, I think he was one of the broadcasters for the fighter, one of the analyst guys, he said that uh, he thought it was a phantom punch. He said that, uh, he goes, he said, I want somebody to prove to me and give me the exact time where the punch landed hard enough to work and uh, uh, do the damage to where the guy could uh, get up at the tent by the tent count. So, now, the interesting thing with that is, you know, with him saying that, of course, he said it's like, uh, he wasn't saying it was rigged or fixed, but he was saying he thought the guy gave up because he wouldn't get up because uh, he called it a phantom punch. And he said he would never watch a Garcia fight again. Now, the interesting thing with that is, is I'm wondering if the Nevada Gaming Control Board will start an investigation into that based on that allegation by what uh, Chavez said. You know, because uh, obviously there was a lot of, you know, it was a sold out fight, big buddy fight. So it's like, uh, I'm wondering if... Uh, 
They'll investigate if there was any improprieties in the betting to see how much of big money came in one way versus the other. I have seen the, the Nevada Gaming Control Board uh, investigate for less. So just an interesting uh, turn of events there. You know, maybe nothing comes of it. Or maybe uh, maybe with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez's uh, comments, maybe he'll, uh, they will go out and see if... Uh, Maybe there was something, something to miss there, huh? So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. We'll see if uh, there's any rumblings of uh, any investigation into the fight. Now it could just be an analyst, uh, you know, making chatter. It's like you know, a thing to uh, to kind of keep himself. Uh, you know, in a controversial boat or whatever, but still, it's like, uh, that was interesting. So what about you all? Was the weather good enough where you're at? It's like to uh, do a little barbecuing, perhaps, or maybe break out that grill and and uh, get it cleaned up and ready for the summertime. I mean, it was finally warm enough this uh, this weekend for a full weekend of people to go out by the pool, finally. So. Uh, I know the swimming pools, it's like the couple that I kind of walked, uh, that I could see, it's like if they were packed with people. But like I say, it was a busy weekend, so. Uh, all the spring break people, it's like could uh, finally enjoy their spring, actual spring break. Although the ones that get spring break earlier was like uh, that was kind of a uh, kind of unfortunate, you know. ABC store people already in there browsing around. So we got some loud music here. So if I have to scrub this out eventually, you will not hear this. But if I don't have to scrub it out, you'll hear that little bit of. Uh, music right there it's kind of loud so there's possibility that uh and i'm just kind of rambling on here to try to mask that music to be honest with you <laughs> i don't want to get in trouble by the uh the overlords you know yeah so uh, yeah here at these veers uh and these are those lady condos over there. I saw uh, an ad for one that was for sale, a studio condo, 560 square feet. And just a one room studio, $330,000. So I'm going to assume that's where they probably start at, is that $330,000 mark. And then, uh, to go for there because I saw some for like uh, in that three to four billion dollar range also so but yeah you could uh, you could live on the strip and have your own uh, Las Vegas Boulevard strip uh, address for three hundred thirty thousand dollars right there
what if when they were doing all this demolishing, they're still demolishing, but if when they were doing it all, it's like if, the, if there were actually people staying in those polo towers at the front there, that had to be super loud, don't you think? They had to put signs up their pedestrian walkway in case people got confused since this is kind of the only way you could go. I guess you could walk in the road, but... See, they get the traffic down here to one or two lanes based on the road work they're doing up here for the Formula One race. But you know what, everybody? I think that's going to do it for uh, this video. Just look at the shell up there of the uh, travel lodge side. It used to be there. All right, so we're here for it's another week. This is what the last week in April, or pretty close anyway, huh? April 24th, so everybody take care, okay? Stay healthy. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. 330000